It's another episode of your everyday computer software tips and tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a payment system to your online store. So if you have a WordPress website and you wish you could accept payment from your client through mobile money or Visa card, then this video is for you. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step approach about how you can do this. So if this is what you are looking to do, then stick and stay. So I have this website, e-commerce website, or a WordPress e-commerce website here. And as you can see, I have a product listed. But when a user clicks on buy, and then it takes them to the next page, which is the checkout page, I'm not able to accept payments through mobile money or Visa card. So I'm just going to show you how I can, I will be able to add the mobile money, Momo payment or Visa card to this. So go on to or log into the back end of your WordPress website, WordPress WooCommerce website, and let's go to plugins. Now, when you go to plugins, and then you have to go to add new. And then after that, you search for paystack. Search for paystack in there. Now you see paystack WooCommerce payment gateway. So payments through commerce allows you to allows your store in Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and South Africa to accept payments online. So go ahead and install it. Now after it's installed, just activate it. Now we'll just wait a minute for it to activate. Now after it's activated, you just go ahead and look for it in the list of um, plugins and you just click on settings so after you go to settings now you have to enable um, payment so you need to check the enable payment checkbox now before we go live that is we tell users that now they can pay with mobile money you need to do a test run first to make sure that um, the whole system is working before we uh, make it available for users to use. So there's a testing phase. It says enable test mode. Now for you to be able to test um, the payment to make sure everything works, um, I'll show you in a minute when we go to the Paystack website, what, what the um, test secret key is and then the text public key is. These are the two things that you need to be able to test um, your payment system on the website to make sure everything is working. Hey, if you think this video is useful, please hit the subscribe button. Let's get back to the video. So first we head over to paystack.com. This is how the website looks like. Um, so we will just go ahead and create a free account here. After you click on free account, you'll be brought to this page where you will need to submit your personal details and then details about your business as well. So I have already created an account, so I don't need to go through this phase again. But if you face any challenges here, you can let me know in the comment section below and I'll be very happy to help. Now let's head over to my account. Um, this is my account. As you can see, I've not done any transaction. That is how my history shows um, 0.0. .0 um, uh, as my figure over here so now let's to get the test secret key let's head down here to settings on the left hand side now after you go to settings you will see another page open for you now when the page opens go to api keys and webhooks scroll down now you can see test secret key here let's copy this click on this icon to copy Head over, head back to your WordPress dashboard. And now where it says test secret key, just paste it in there. And then now we copy the text public key. So you copy, come back to our WordPress and paste that on the test public key. And then make sure enable test mode is, um, is activated and just click on save changes. So once this is done, let's head back to 
our WordPress website. Let's refresh the page and see if anything happened. Um, nothing. So let's head back. One more thing that I forget. Just click on enable pay stack here first and then save the changes again. Head back to the front page um, and then just refresh again. And now once we enable pay stack, you can see that option is enabled here. So our users can pay through MTN, Vodafone, um, or any other um, Momo payments, or they can pay through Visa or MasterCard. So let's just test this. We are still in the testing phase, remember. So let's click on this, say place order, and let's see what happens. So going to the checkout page, it opens up a pop-up here. So the person can either pay with a card um here or pay with a mobile money um option there's a mobile money option here so because it's, we are in a testing phase it's giving us um, a generic number to test it with so let's just say confirm and let's see the payment process will go through yes so the payment process is happening which means um the details we entered and everything is working people can now pay online so now let's do the actual one let's go live where we can actually make payments and see a deduction on an account so now to go live um we had our test secret key down here now go um scroll up and this is where you see your live secret keys now these keys are very sensitive please make sure that nobody gets access to this otherwise your site might be compromised so to copy the live secret key let's just show it up sometimes you'll be required to enter your password again just so um, to confirm that um, you are the one um, requesting to see it so in my case so in my case i just entered my password just click on continue now i can copy head back to our WordPress website. Now you have to disable, in order to um, use the live uh, secret key, just disable enable test mode and you see the name changes to live secret key and just go ahead and paste it in here. I head over to, back to our Paystack account and copy the live public key as well and just paste it in that section. Now, when you are done with this, you can go ahead and click on save now your site is, is ready to take um, payment from your clients so now when we head back to our shop our wordpress um, shop let's just click on one item and try to make payment for it it says buy now so now we still see what we previously saw so we've now checked the pay with um, the pay stack or pay with um, the Visa, MasterCard or Mobile and Let's place the order. So once again, it will open up a pop-up and this is where we can enter an actual number in here and wait to get a confirmation. So let me just enter my Vodafone number here. Um, it will automatically change to the provider that you entered. Now let me hit on confirm as in making payment for the product. Now I get, it says enter the one-time payment sent to your phone. So I just received the, pay, the, the OTP on my phone, which I can enter here or which your user can just enter here and authorize. Once the person enters and authorize here, it means the payment has gone through and transaction has been successful. If your client or if your client also wants to pay with a, a card, you can also do that here where they can enter their card number, card expiry, and then the CCV. Then after that, they can also make payments. Sometimes they also receive an OTP on their phones, which they have to confirm um, to just to authorize the payment. So for both cards and mobile money, this is a simple way that you can use to make payments. So this is a very simple way you can set up a Momo payment or a Visa card payment on your WordPress e-commerce website. 
However, if you don't have a WordPress website, you're on another platform and you still want to link up or set up a Momo payment on your website, you can leave me a comment in the section below about the kind of uh, platform you are on and I'll be more than willing to help you get or set it up. Um, if you found this video useful, please don't forget. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because I'll be uploading two videos every week for you on software tips and tricks that I hope I know will really go a long way to help you. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and I hope to see you in the next video.